PTC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 22, Part 5. In Part 5, we'll overview both the taper coupling detail and the detail drawing for the straight coupling. Uh, in your PDF, you'll see the views that were necessary to describe the object. I'm looking right now at the taper coupling. And make sure that you describe everything in a view and in an adjacent view. So that's very important when you have your geometry. You want to have your cutting plane giving you the section that you want in order to describe the internal portions of the of the part. Now you can have detail views, blow up views, um, projection views, anything you need you think that's necessary to show all the geometry. I'm not saying this is a very good drawing that's we're giving to you here because there's just uh, there's actually no detail or scaled up drawing. So it's up to you to determine the views that you need. Now on the other one I'll go over actual drawing that I have up. So that's taper coupling. The other one is the straight coupling. So again in the straight coupling you can have a variety of views that you need. Um, I'll go over just a couple things, nothing much here. I really want you to do this on your own. It's kind of like a final project in a way. And one of them is, how do we get, in other words, this section BB over here? How would we get that? So what you normally would do is you would open up your, uh, your model when you're doing this, but you don't have to. You can do it in the drawing. I always prefer to have the model where I create the section because regardless of where you create it, it's going to always be displayed, I'm sorry, embedded in the model. It's not like other CAD systems where the sections get embedded in a drawing. That's not what happens here. So basically I want to turn on all my datum features so I can see it. And in this particular case, um, if we wanted to see a section through an item at an angle, I'm going to put this one at an angle through here. All right, and, and so that I can project a certain type of view. Now, on this one, straight coupling, actually, the section would be best for here, but I've already got that determined and created for the drawing. So just to show you how we would do it with creating a datum plane on the fly when we're creating a section. So under the View tab, we're going to go to Section. It's going to be Planar. We're going to go into the datum again. We're going to go to the datum plane. And we're going to pass it through a couple of center lines. So if you wanted to shut all these off except for the center line, the axes, that would be easiest. And let's say we want to go through this one and hold down my control key and this one here. So I've got my new datum plane passing through there. Click OK. Turn on the datum plane. And resume the sectioning. Like so. And if we don't want to display it right here, we can turn it off. And check. And it's not being displayed. So this one will be C, so I'm going to change it over here in the model tree. And go back over to my drawing. So now, if I wanted to uh, This is datum plane 7, so if I wanted to use that on the drawing, I turn my datum planes on over here, and I have datum plane 7. Let's see where I've got it. So I can get it off. Here's datum plane 7 right here. So I'll project a view off of that just to see how, show you how it's done. We're going to go auxiliary view, pick the new datum plane that we established, and we can go in either direction. Um, not much room. So I'm going to just put it down here, like so. And I think what I'll do is I'll select the front view here, or the, I'm sorry, datum C, and just move it over there for now. So we have this area. So double click here. I'm going to go into my sections and 2D section. And I have one section C that I just created, apply. Uh, as far as the display goes, um, no hidden usually for a section. 
I'll do no tangency display. Uh, the scale is going to be determined because it's a projection, like so. And you can see we've got other types of choices here that we can do. We can actually change that particular view. Let's leave it like it is, though, and cancel. So there's a way of creating a auxiliary section through any portion auxiliary view and section through any items that you want to show more clearly. And again, like I said, we can actually blow some of these up and make them a little clearer um, when we're doing it. So none of these seem to have scale on them. Well, this one has scale, scale, I was wrong. And this one here has a scale also. So it describes the object pretty good. Straightforward, make sure all your dimensions are shown. You'll also notice that we have this bolt circle. And when we were creating these um, uh, dowel holes and the counterbore holes or the counter or spot face holes, we made sure that in our section that we put a diameter dimension in there so that shows up. That's where you want that to happen. If you don't have your diameter dimension on the sketch, it's not going to show up here automatically when you display those particular features. All right, so I'm not going to go into this too much. I want you to spend some time. You'll notice we even used a few different types of uh, of uh, uh, instead of a circle, we used another shape when we did this detail. So there's a variety of things you can try. Zoom in on it, um, and you should have sufficient examples of all the different features and some ideas on how to detail. And again, you want to change some stuff. You want to add. You think there's too many um, dimensions in some area. Move them to another view. Uh, make things clear. Whatever you choose to do. You could put a second sheet on and uh, put a pictorial over there. That's always an option. So feel free to experiment a little bit with uh, some of the options that are available. So let's go with scale here. Uh, like so. And you know you could even go in and see what type of sections are possible. You'll see that all of them say no sections are possible. But in reality, um, this one says there's no sections at all. And that's because it's not allowing. I think it's because it's an older part. It's not allowing us to use it. Well, let me see. I'm, I'm wrong about that. We can use any of these. Uh, let's try section A and apply. OK, that looks pretty good. It won't allow you to keep the shaded image on there. Now uh, let's go to the, uh, what is it not like? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Not all of them have been, I think I'm because I'm using an old model, some of the things aren't working quite like I want them to. Let me see what happens here. I think it's just going to ask me this constantly. And let's go to no hidden and none, apply, like so. And here's a case where you probably do want your, your lines in there. I'll go with dimmed so that you can see the edges here. Otherwise, it, it looks a little funny. So again, um, you can do whatever you want. Try some extra pages, some different details, and uh, then upload the whole package when you're done as a zip file. This is the end of part five.